Kip, can I just tell you, it's Brian and Chrissy in Albany, and I want to confess something, if I can, for one second. When you came up here in April in for, April. Mm-hmm. for Secret Star, Chrissy and I had been working here for less than a month, okay? And we had come from the pop world and didn't really know what this universe was about. Like, we just weren't... Realized what a big deal I was, huh? Well, you know something? <laughs> that is a, yes. That's a huge part of it. And I almost, I was almost like... We, I, for every fan that's going to take that literally, that was a freaking joke. No, no, no. You're totally cool. I'm almost telling you this now before the interview even starts, because I feel like we talked to you after the show, and I feel like it was a missed opportunity, because now that I know more about you, and Chrissy and I have become more sort of ingratiated with the music, and, and the, the way artists. And the way you... Yeah. You perform and how you connect, like it, like I feel like that was a missed opportunity. I don't want to mess this one up, man. It, we're really honored to talk to you today. Well, I appreciate that, man. I'm looking forward to uh, to being back in that area. Congratulations on this album that Chrissy and I have been, have been listening to and obsessing uh, over. Obsessing over it, it really does. It plays out like the kind of movie that you can't stop watching or a book that you can't put down. Let me say this: I've done about 25 interviews this morning. This is already my favorite. Ah, oh, we love you. <laughs> they just Thank say you. That, like, ah, oh, it, it's just nice to to get a really good one. Um, so. Uh, it, Thank you. Um, I, I worked really hard on this record. Um, I've been making it for the last year, and um, I, I poured so much of my soul into this project. So to see it coming to fruition and seeing people react in the way they've been reacting to it has been a pretty special thing. Like, literally, every song tells a story. It, you know, you don't write about the pretty girl that broke your heart. You write about the b- in the bar who ripped it out. You, you know what I mean? And I just find that... Feel free to use that as your next lyric in any form. <laughs> like it's, I'll, I'll it's, go for it. it's so refreshing. It, it must be freeing to write those kinds of songs, put those lyrics down, and then have them work. Man, I'll, uh, I'll always be authentic. Um, I, I try to always... I've told myself that a long time ago. I'm never going to let people push me into a corner um, and do things that I don't want to do. Um, I, I do things the way I want to do them, and especially with my music. And um, I don't let people influence me in that in that regard. Um, I, I get the sounds that I want, um, and, I, and I write about the things that are true and authentic to me. And I don't I don't I don't sugarcoat um, the way that reality really is. You know, even with a song like Bittersweet Company, as in love with that song as everybody was on my team. You know, there became this debate of, well, because you know. The lyric is so heart wrenching. Maybe we need to uh, make it, you know, a turn for the positive at the end. Can you rewrite the lyric? And I was like, hell no. The song's already written. Like I'm not touching that. So, I love that. It's good for you. I try to yes. stick to that with everything that I do when it comes to music. And and even with with last shot, like I don't know, you can I, you, oh, I can hear I, I can yeah, just can see feel it. I can feel it, Chrissy. Like we can see the crowd performing that with you because we've all been in that situation. I'm getting emotional thinking about it where you're like, I can't lose you. And if I, and if I get one more chance, that's all I'm asking Mm -hmm. for is one more chance. I'm not going to mess it up. Like, is this, is that a person for you or is that multiple people for you? Like when you write a song that powerful, who's in your head? Um, yeah, I mean, I might have someone in my head. I'm not going to tell you who it is. <laughs> I respect um, it. I'm never going to be uh, that kind of person. Um, I, I keep my private life private, but I definitely have people that, in, you know, or persons that inspires stuff that I'm doing. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's more about I, I'm in tune with who I am and what I'm feeling, and I write about what I'm feeling in those moments. We're talking to Kip Moore. Kip, you say you like to keep your private life private, but you came out with the journey, the documentary, the journey to Slow Heart. Um, how were you able to be so open and honest with your family, your friends, your hometown, all of that stuff? And you poured your heart and soul into the album, but also this documentary. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the the thing I have going for me is my videographer is my best buddy, too. So he's kind of like a fly on the wall, and I always tell him, you know, if you don't get the shot, then you missed it. Don't ask me to do it again. Mm. Don't ask me to recreate anything. So you better be, you know, you better be on point when you're filming because I try to keep those all that stuff super authentic, and he knows that. So, you know, in Costa Rica, you know, when I walk up and I start jamming with those locals on the beach, you know, um, 
you know, I'm playing their classical guitar and singing La Bamba with them. Like, that was all a very, very authentic moment. And he knows to have his camera ready when those things happen. Are you entertaining the idea? Because I think you'd be phenomenal and refreshing for American Idol. Is that is that something that you would entertain, American Idol? Is this serious? As a judge? Oh, yeah. as a judge. As a judge, oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Oh, my oh, gosh. My <laughs> With no disrespect. Are you <laughs> kidding? Dude, where have you been? Holy cow. He's like, uh, by the way, click. <laughs> no, no, no. As a Kip, judge. Oh, my as gosh. As a judge, Around please. I, is this guy serious right now? Like, <laughs> no, no, no. As a judge. Um, uh, you know, I, I don't even think about stuff like that, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Um, it's just not even on my radar to even answer like a question like that because I, I I don't I never sit around and, and and think, man, would I want to be a judge on American Idol? Like, there's a lot of things I think about. Like, do I feel like eating pancakes right now? Or bacon? <laughs> yeah, the right. answer is always yes. But <laughs> yeah, but I don't ever ask myself, do I want to? Uh, well. Be well, on American Idol. Well, sometimes or, uh, the money. Sometimes the money, though, does the talking and the answering for you. You know, if, true, very <laughs> true. But I'll tell you this about myself: um, I've been offered a lot of things that um, I don't know, man. I'm 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 a weird cat. I think when it comes to those kind of things, uh, money has never been a driving force in my life. Um, I don't need much. I still live. My business management always says I'm the most unusual, unusual artist they've ever dealt with because my bank account and the things that I purchase is the exact same as I did in 2009, even yeah. though my account is drastically different now. It's right. like, I don't need things. I don't care about flashy things. That None of that stuff drives me. So I've turned down a lot of big money opportunities just because I, I didn't care anything about it. So if I don't care about it, I'm not going to do it. Um, it's, fair. Uh, it's a great answer. A couple of quickies. I know they want us to wrap. Um I know that uh, for Taste of Country down at Hunter Mountain, you you stepped in and performed an extra long set the day that Sam had that Sam Hunt had to cancel. That I felt like was a pretty cool moment for you. I, I think that I mean fans who already know and loved Kip Moore already were your biggest fans and cheerleaders. But I think there were twenty thousand other people that saw you perform an extra long set, giving your heart and soul. Can you talk to us about what that moment was like when you knew you were going to be headlining the, uh, the final day of Taste of Country? Do you want me to be honest with you right now? Please be. I'm not capable of politically correct, so if that's what you're wanting, you're asking me the wrong question mm-hmm. right now. We um, want honesty. Uh, I could sit here and say, oh my gosh, it was the most you know, uh, special and amazing moment, but man, I've headlined a million shows, um, I've been, I've been playing clubs and 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 paying my dues for a long time, man. I've been I've been grinding on the circuit for so many years, and um, I mean, it was like, hey, do you you want to play a little extra long? Sam's sick. I was like, no problem. Like it wasn't like I was doing something that was so unusual to me. It was just like, okay, I'm I'm headlining, uh, taste the country, and I it it was. For me, it was it was just one of those things where I love to play music. I wasn't. It was the same for me as any show. I love getting up there and doing what I do, and I always put my heart into it. So, in that sense, it wasn't any different for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I go about every show the same way. We can't wait to see you in less than two weeks here. And Kip, congrats on Slow Heart. Definitely love it. Last shot. I think that's the the, the next single. Although we, we've heard other things, whatever it is, <laughs> it's going to be a smash. Congratulations. We can't wait to see you in Albany. Thank you, guys. Y'all take care. Thank Kip you, Moore. Kip. Thank you very much.